the Solemnity of St. Joseph. Today, Holy Mother Church celebrates the Feast of St. Joseph, the husband of Mary, and the foster father of Jesus. We really didn't hear much from St. Joseph in the New Testament. The Gospels do not record a single spoken verse for St. Joseph. Nevertheless, what this great saint did for God in his life speaks for itself. Let us explore how his important mission in God's plan for salvation was. St. Joseph, a hard-working carpenter, wasn't well off because when he took Jesus to the temple to be circumcised and Mary to be purified, he offered the sacrifice of two turtle doves or a pair of pigeons, allowed only for those who could not afford a lamb. Despite his humble work and means, Joseph came from the royal lineage of David. Because of this, Saint Joseph is a link between the Old Covenant with Abraham and Moses and the new perfect and eternal covenant through the blood of Jesus. He fulfilled the patriarch's vision of the promised land and the kingdom established by King David and prepared the way for Jesus the Messiah who will establish the new kingdom of God and the new promised land not castles and armies, but one that is within oneself of shared life with the Lord, lived now and fulfilled in heaven. Saint Joseph was engaged to Mary when he discovered that she was pregnant. Since he didn't yet know God's plan, but knew she was pregnant not by himself, he decided to divorce her quietly. However, an angel of the Lord appeared to St. Joseph in a dream, revealed to him that the child was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, and commanded him not to fear and to take Mary as his wife and Jesus as his son. St. Joseph did his duty courageously. Throughout the Gospels, he faithfully and unconditionally obeyed God's commandments, returned to Nazareth, took his child to the temple for a circumcision and formal presentation, and traveled to Jerusalem to celebrate the Passover. He accepted his vocation of being a faithful spouse and father. Being a carpenter, he provided for his family the best he could, whether it was the stable in Bethlehem or the house in Nazareth. Although Saint Joseph was not the biological father of Jesus, he was a father in every other sense. As a good Jewish father, he was also responsible for his son's religious education including teaching him to read the Holy Scriptures. St. Joseph's death before Jesus' public ministry is held in tradition with further belief that he passed away in the presence of Mary and Jesus. He is renowned as a patron saint of a peaceful death, having lived as a humble, devoted servant of God. From marrying the Virgin Mary to raising Jesus and shepherding them to Egypt and Nazareth, Joseph lived by faith and courage. As a patron saint of families, fathers, travelers, and immigrants, as well as expectant mothers, craftsmen, engineers, and working people, Saint Joseph is revered universally. His name is commemorated in numerous churches and places worldwide, with the Spanish form San Jose being the world's most commonly named place. Let us all venerate and treasure St. Joseph's example, having faith that his supplications will guide us towards redemption.